Defiance is a science fiction drama set 35 years in the future. An alien civilization has shown up at Earth's doorstep. The ships that they brought with all their plants and animals and species crash down on Earth and create a new terraformed planet. The world around us has changed and aliens and human beings are living side by side. This is a story that's about courage, it's about survival, and it's about the new frontier. Defiance is actually two things. One is a serialized drama for television, and the other is a massive multiplayer online game. Both properties are tied together and work as one. The game of Defiance takes place in San Francisco. And the TV show takes place in St. Louis, but it's a shared universe. The events of that virtual world will actually affect the story and the world of our show, and vice versa. There's never been a time when a television network and a video game company have come together from the start to create something like this. It's never been attempted before. It is truly at the forefront of immersive storytelling experiences. It's the holy grail of entertainment. The show is essentially a show about hope. There is that post-apocalyptic Western and sci-fi element to it. St. Louis has been buried under hundreds of feet of earth and debris. This new town has been created on top of the old town. But the one familiar element is the famous St. Louis Gateway Arch is still standing. The population of Defiance is really a melting pot, and that's kind of at the heart of the show as well, which is that it's essentially kind of an immigrant drama. The show is epic and Shakespearean in its themes. It has courage, it has lust, it has wickedness, it has danger. The characters and the dynamics are, are so rich, and the story is so kind of, it sounds weird, in anything with aliens in it, but human. The people in this town are aspiring to rebuild, and not just survive, but to really live in this world. My character, Nolan, uh, comes to Defiance by accident. He's an outsider and not particularly good with people. The sense of hope he finds in Defiance is, is almost like a shot at redemption. Amanda's a new mayor of the town, and she has to keep the peace amongst all these people trying to coexist together. We have some amazing creative talent that are bringing this world to life. The prosthetic uh, special effects and visual effects teams have been working very hard on this. It's incredible what they've been doing. We're building the entire town digitally uh, thanks to Gary Hutzel, who did the visual effects for Battlestar Galactica. Defiance is going to be a different television show than anything that we've seen before. The bringing together of this alien environment with the human environment and making those blend naturally for the audience. It's gonna be very exciting. Production designer Stephen Gagan is developing the look of the town. What excited me about the project was the sheer scope of it. And that was just phenomenal. Like we're building a town, which is huge, and then we're building a world beyond that. What people are gonna see when they tune in to Defiance is epic world, this extraordinary landscape that's both familiar and unfamiliar, and unusual alien characters, big action, and intimate character drama. There's a big sweep to it. What we're attempting has never been done before, and that, for me as a designer, is extremely exciting. MMO gaming stands for Massively Multiplayer Online. What that means is you're playing on the same game space with thousands of other players. Online gaming is one of the fastest growing segments of the entertainment industry, projected to grow to over 30 billion by 2014. We're going to be launching on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. It allows us to hit a huge, broad market. Players enter the world of defiance as what we call an arc hunter. They can help establish law in sort of the frontier town of San Francisco. Players will build their character. They can do some customization up front of their look, getting new weapons and new abilities. They are coming up against alien monsters or factions that want their destruction. In Defiance, we can present the player with you know really unique experience. The level of control that we can have over simple things like weather can dramatically affect the gameplay and the look of the game and the level of immersion that players have. You have a pixel-perfect shooter, vehicle combat, but also online persistence. You can level up. The story never ends. It is one of the most exciting online games ever created. The gaming world has been pretty rabid for more news on Defiance. Hands down, Defiance is the game Tryon's asked about the most. The experience of one is going to enhance the experience of the other in ways that are both 
overt and also very subtle. Immersive stories on two platforms that are seamlessly living together. The real crossovers happen while the season is going. Since we planned from the very beginning to do this, things like a character leaving the game and going to the show and talking about what they did in the game. You have the same vehicles, the same technology, the same flora, the same fauna. You can inhabit the world as a player that's actively moving through the world of Defiance, and you can turn on the TV and sit back and watch great drama unfold. We'll be transitioning from the real world to the game world and back again. The show and the game constantly reinforce each other, and battles in the game might change the outcome of the TV show. Big events in the TV show are immediately reflected in the game. It's just a really amazing way to have that fan interaction. So this level of interconnectivity between the two mediums, creating this sort of super product is, is part of the fun of working on Defiance. It really allows both companies to bring what they do best to the table and create something that has never been done before. It is one of the most groundbreaking entertainment experiences ever created.